Hello, welcome to Focus. I'm your host, Mark Warnock, and we're here with Priscilla Brayson from Enfield Loaves and Fishes. How are you doing, Priscilla? Fine, how are you? Not too bad. Thanks so much for coming on. Absolutely. So, Enfield Loaves and Fishes, tell us a little bit about Enfield Loaves and Fishes and what it's all about. Enfield Loaves and Fishes is a soup kitchen that provides a hot meal to people in need, also to provide a atmosphere of uh, being safe and uh, people get together and communicate and share their ideas with one another and perhaps maybe there's a job out there and and they just um, communicate with one another and it helps them out. We also um, you know provide them with clothes that come in here and um, occasionally we have people from the outside that come in and do haircuts. Uh, for no charge. They're professional from beauty shops. Been open since 1982 and uh, we started with two days and then three days and five days and of course everybody has to eat every day so we're up to seven days. Um, so with the with the inflows and fishes is this something you started from the beginning or did you get into it after it already had started? No, I got into it after it started, when it was just two days. All right. So you've been there for a while then, huh? Yes, I think it's about 33 years. Wow. Going wow, that's on amazing. Wow. And I love what I do. I love helping people to feed them, and put them in a better place, and uh, let them know they're not alone, let them know they're loved. I think that's really important. We all need that. Especially, right when you're going, especially when you're going through hard times. You know, you're in darkness. And to know that other people care about you and want to help you makes a big difference. Also, not to worry about having a meal, being hungry. You can't think when you're hungry. Yeah. So with everything that's going on with the pandemic and everything else, uh, I'm assuming you've seen like a huge influx in numbers or is it basically the same? Oh, no, no. It has doubled. Wow. It's, and it's really, really difficult at this time because the fact we can't serve inside. So yeah. we set up, uh, you know, folded tables outside and we bring, we drag out bread racks that we eat breads and pastries so they can take them home and other products that might come in. Uh, we do one at a time. And they have to come to the table with a face mask. And say it's just you and you have a family of five at home. We don't question you. If you say you need five meals, we'll give you five meals and a lunch bag to go along with that. So you're actually getting two for one. Wow. So uh, with all the stuff that's going on, uh, what are, what, how are you getting out the information to your usual clientele that comes in? We're doing it through Facebook and uh, word, word of mouth to one another and uh, being on Fox. <laughs> so help out an awful lot. We try. We try. So if you get anything you ever need, you always feel free to reach out. We're more than happy to help you out. You, uh, you guys are fantastic. Thank you. So with all that scope, like we were saying, the, the pandemic and everything, uh, we know here at our place the volunteering is completely different because as you can see, I'm working from home and the studio's closed. Right. So how has uh, volunteering changed for you guys over there at the Enfield Loaves and Fishes? Well, 95% of our volunteers are no longer here. Most of our volunteers are elderly. And they're more at risk to get yeah. the flu. So um, I post on Facebook that I need help. And then I screen them. I want to find out if they've been exposed to the virus or been out of uh, the country. And uh, they need to come in here with the face mask and follow our rules. So if someone did want to volunteer, uh, besides, is it Facebook the only way, or is there other ways that they can They can uh, call. Get you? They can call 860-741-0226, or they can email me, pbelf at aol.com. Also, I'm on Facebook under Enfield Loaves and Fishes, and also 
another page, Priscilla Brayson, B-R-A-Y-S-O-N. And then, of course, the website, www.realcloaksandfishes.com. So there's so various people, ways of contacting me. Yeah. There's always, there's no way everyone already has 9,000 ways. Uh, so if uh, if someone didn't just want to volunteer, but they were wanting to donate, do you guys accept food donations or what kind of donations do you guys accept? Absolutely. What I've asked you to do in a community, it wouldn't be able to do any of this if it was not the community stepping up. There were donated items uh, that because we're doing, you know, bag lunches, so we need bags, we need cups with covers, we need the uh, go containers uh, we need fruit snacks things of this nature and the community has been just wonderful if they don't donate money they donate product and without the community their support we would never never be able to do what we're doing and it's so wonderful many of the guests that come to the table have said if it wasn't for you i'd probably be dead by now and that's such an impact, especially when you hear that. Mm. And, you know, this one guy keeps going like this, banging on his heart. You're here. You're here, here in my body. I love you. Thank you for being here each and every day. Isn't that beautiful? That's amazing. So, so you know that the guests really appreciate it. And, you know, some of the people that come here are also homeless. Mm. And this is the only thing they're going to get. That's that's amazing. You guys do God's work. That's all I got to say. And I don't well, usually you know, say that, but you guys are amazing. Thank you. When we made this commitment to open in loaves and fishes, we didn't just make this commitment when the days are pretty and the sun is shining. We're here each and every day to, to feed our, our guests out there who need a little help in hand, especially during this time. Mm. When there's so many places that are closed, yeah, and they can't, they can't yeah. get the food that they need. So, we're almost out of time. But uh, the one thing that we're gonna want to end the, each one of our segments with is, uh, we want to ask our guests uh, during this whole situation, what is the one thing that you guys, what are you are thankful for the most during this whole situation? The community, the community that stepped forward to help out during this terrible situation that we're in, that we're working together to make a difference. No matter who we are, no matter what our color is, no matter what our religion is, that we are watching one another and helping each other. I am so thankful for that. And thank you, too. Well, thank you, Priscilla. Thank you for all you do over there, Enfilos and Fishes. And, uh, you guys are the best and you always are great guests when you come on all the different shows. So thank you for giving the time and being on this show, our first show. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Be well. Can I give you our address if you would like to uh, make oh, a donation? Oh, yes, please. Yeah. We are Enfield Loaves and Fishes, P.O. Box 544, Enfield, Connecticut, 06083. And if you would like to drop something off, we are located at 28 Prospect Street. We ask you to go through Thompson Court in the back so somebody can come out and gather the items that you like to donate. But when you pull up, please call so somebody can come out to receive it. All right. That's fantastic. We'll make sure we get all the information out for you. Thanks so much again, Priscilla. We'll talk to you next time. All right. Bye-bye now.